Okay, happy Ash Wednesday, True Believers. This is Jake checking in. I'm in the student union. Um, it's about an hour before the mock date rape trial starts. So I'm um, going to try to get some footage of that, get some interviews with the people involved, and we'll follow the process and see how things turn out. So stay tuned. All right, I'm here with Dean Garrett from the South Campus, who's going to act as the judge in today's trial. So uh, Dean Garrett, if you would mind just giving us a little description of what's, what's going to happen. And... Well, our concept is, you know, spring break is next week. Alcohol, flirting, those are common things in spring break. And when you combine those two things, sometimes, sometimes bad things happen. So we want to raise everyone, everyone's awareness of that potential. And we do it in the sort of the interesting format of an actual trial. And, and so we're, we're doing a mock trial uh, of a date rape situation. Um, we're using real, uh, a real prosecutor, a real public defender. Uh, and in my former life, I was a judge, so I'll serve in that capacity. And we have two student actors uh, who will perform the roles of the alleged perpetrator and the victim. And uh, um, we'll go through the whole trial, and the audience is the jury. So when the trial is over, we'll have a vote and see whether the alleged perpetrator is guilty. Or not. Yeah. That's the concept. All right, great. Well, I look forward to uh, seeing how things go. All right, thank you. Thank you. Welcome to our mock uh, date rape trial. Uh, I have a few comments uh, before we begin. First, this is a mock trial, it's not real. Uh, this girl was not raped. This guy did not rape anyone. This is a performance. <laughs> I want to make that clear so that if you see them on campus tomorrow, that you're not like, hey, let's beat this guy up or something like that. Okay. Uh, our goal as we approach spring break is to try and raise awareness that uh, when you mix alcohol and flirting, hooking up stuff together, that there's risk. All rise. Hear ye, hear ye. The First District Court of Montana Tech is now in session. The Honorable John Garrick presiding. There will be order in the court. You are here today for the case of the State of Montana versus Justin Webb. Serving on a jury is a solemn civic duty. I instruct you to take this seriously. Um, we were drinking a little bit, uh, and then um, him and I went up to his room to watch music videos. I was telling him no and to stop and to get off of me. And did he stop? No. And I kept, I kept repeating it. Were you fighting him? Yeah, but I, he was a lot stronger than me. I, I tried to get, him, to get him off of me. So after your drive home, where you came up with your plan, was your next decision then to take a shower? Yes, that's, that's right. You ever watch crime scene investigation shows? Yes. But it was your first impulse to get rid of any possible evidence. Your Honor, he's mischaracterizing the testimony. Mr. Kirkhoff, why don't you ask a question that she can answer? Was it your first impulse to get rid of any evidence? No. I'm not the kind of guy that likes to upset women. Uh, you just said you're not the type of guy that likes to upset women. What kind of guy are you? Well, I mean. <laughs> I was raised good. My parents taught me to, you know, respect women, and I just, you know, when a woman cries, I don't like that very much. So you invite a girl over for a first date to a house party. You uh, feed her full of alcohol, and you take her upstairs and have sex with her. That's how you were raised. I didn't feed her full of alcohol, ma'am. And what you also have to decide is, did the state prove the case beyond a reasonable doubt? And all she's asking from you guys today is for some justice. And that's where you come in, is to give her that justice. If you believe he's guilty, you're gonna point at the ceiling. And if you believe he is not guilty, you are going to point at one of the aisles, sideways. Ready, set, vote. Look around, keep your vote going. What does this mean? Well, it, this means he goes home. 
This means he goes home. So, what's sort of our moral of the story? Um, both people, men and women, need to be careful not to put themselves in these situations. The fact that maybe this defendant in this situation was found not guilty, he had to go through this. This victim has to now go home knowing that he's going home, feeling violated and embarrassed. There's no winners here. It's lose, lose. The only way to control that is to control your behavior and whether you choose to put yourself into the situation of alcohol and flirting and hooking up. And choices matter. Remember the moral of the story, choices have consequences. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful spring break.